So I've spoken a lot about malignant breast disease, but there are a lot of benign breast diseases as well. Um, the way we like to think about them are the breast diseases that don't have atypical cells and the breast diseases that do have atypical cells. There are two types of atypical or what we call atypical hyperplasias in the breast. There's atypical ductal hyperplasia and there's atypical lobular hyperplasia of the breast. Usually a typical ductal hyperplasia is found, they're often associated with calcifications, but sometimes they're seen, um, sometimes they're part of a biopsy for something else as well. And we'll see the radiologist target them on core needle biopsy. Um, and those are important to recognize when you have a typical ductal hyperplasia, um, the standard of care would be to have that, if you find it on core needle biopsy, to have it excised, just to make sure that there isn't anything worse around there. And, it's, and hopefully there isn't anything else worse than the atypical hyperplasia around there. Um, but it's important to know because women who have atypical ductal hyperplasia have about a four to five times um, risk of developing breast cancer. So that automatically puts women into a high risk category. Mm -hmm.